Welcome to 30 Second Chances, where we ask deep, inquisitive questions and give our guests far too little time to formulate thoughtful, reflective answers. My guest today is Grammy-nominated producer Mark Needham. Mark, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Cool. All right, you know the drill. 30 seconds on the clock and then on to the next question. You ready? I, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Question right. number one. How has the shutdown impacted your work? Well, you know, before the shutdown, I, you know, I get up at 4.35 in the morning, walk the dog and come down to the studio and work for 16 hours. And um, after the shutdown, I get up in the morning, walk the dog and work for 15 or 16 hours. I mean, I spend most of my time alone in a, in a, in a somewhat, not, not a dark room, but, you know, I, I'm kind of used to spending time by myself. <laughs> Question two, uh, what have you been doing to pivot and adapt your skills to the current reality? Um, I'm flying a lot less, which is actually really nice. So it's been nice kind of staying home for a minute. Um, I mean, I, I've been doing like Zoom meetings, which like Zoom collaborations, which I actually I absolutely hate with the delay and all the little screens popping up. It drives me a little batshit crazy, but... Um, you know, I use this audio movers and I just mix my songs and, you know, to try to make it through. I Question number three. What do you think the recovery looks like for our industry? You know, I started doing this when we were still making vinyl albums and then CDs and then started the streaming. And, you know, it's like I, I, I'm kind of, re you know, I, I, I'm, 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 I, I could imagine that that pretty much anything could happen, um, and I, you know I'll just try to adapt to whatever it is. I, I have I have no idea how how much weirder it could get. Question four: What are you working on now? Um, I have this band almost Monday that we signed to Hollywood. We're trying to you know just keep working on that record, trying to finish up a Blue October record, a um, bunch of different singles, um, have a band that we're working on to doing a development deal with, so getting started on that. And then I have an artist in Nashville, but I can't say who it is, that we're going to go start on on the night. Question Whoa. five. If you could collaborate with one person, living or dead, who would it be? living or dead hmm um i guess maybe Jimi hendrix um would be would be a lot of fun um i guess i can just say one right do i have to limit to limit to one not necessarily but hendrix is a great choice man i mean i i um I, I cut a, I, I cut some tracks in one of the rooms that he used for cry of love years ago and you can you can just feel the vibe you know <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to reset the clock and put 30 seconds more on it and, and have you answer any questions you wish I had asked you. How's that? Uh, all right, so I have to imagine what the question is. Yep. Um, what would I fill my pool with, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> um, since, since that came up in conversation earlier, um, I'd probably fill it with dirt so I don't have to keep paying for it, you know? Um I don't think lime jello, maybe. I, I, I'm not big on lime jello. Popcorn <laughs> with lots of butter would be good. There you go. Well, thanks for being our guest on our show. Um, I've enjoyed your answers, and I'm sure the rest of our, our our audience will as well. Well, it's good to see everybody. See you. Mm.